Anything that you've done that you recommend to this company that evolves like heroes or villains? Um, well, I a uh, number of things actually. If they uh, want to get into anime and like want to see some of the new stuff that's coming out, I, I recommend Fate Stay Night, Unlimited Blade Works. That's uh, very popular right now. It's running on Netflix. Uh, the first season is up. Uh, we're recording the second season right now, and it's a, it's a really really good show. Um, I would also recommend Kill a Kill. Um, it's it's a zany. It's a way zanier show than Fate Stay Night. It's a little less serious, but it's it's. Kind of like really eye candy-ish, um, good guys versus bad guys. Um, but yeah, I mean, they, they also want to get into video games too, right? Is that what yes. Uh, cool. Um, well, I recommend any of the Tales games. Uh, Tales of Exilia was fantastic. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, Bravely Default, if they haven't checked that out, they should check that out. Um, <laughs> let's see, what else? Um, if they like fighting games, uh, Guilty Gear Exerd. It is fantastic. I play Faust in that. Um, yeah, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, would you like to hold up like yeah, a yeah, poster absolutely. for yeah, Fate yeah. Stay? Yeah, so this is... Let's do this without wrecking it. Uh, this is the poster for Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works. Um, you can find it right now on Netflix. Um, I think the first 12, 13 episodes are out. And the second season will be coming out uh, very soon. Um, and I played this gloomy looking guy. His name's <laughs> Archer. <laughs> Um, he's a bit of a nihilist, but he's a good guy. Uh, you can also catch uh, Bryce Pappenbrook as uh, Shiro, uh, Mela Lee as Reen, uh, I think it's Carrie, uh, Carrie Walgren as uh, Saber. It's a fantastic show, you should definitely check it out. Okay, um, so besides those, like, what are some of the upcoming titles that you're doing voiceovers for? I can't say. I'm not allowed to. You're really? Um, yeah. There's, there's, there's a bunch coming up. Um, I think, uh, let's see, things I can talk about. Disgaea 5 is coming out. Um, I play a character named Red Magnus in that. I, I know I can talk about that because it's, it's been um, announced and the trailers are out. Uh, that comes out, I think, next month. Um, I'm trying to figure out things I can actually talk about. Any hints? I can't. <laughs> I really can't. I would love to. I, I'm in. I'm in. Any manga adaptations or well, these like know, a bunch of new anime coming out. Definitely. Um, I, I know. I'm. Uh, it, it's funny because uh, this is, I think, the second show I've had to fight Bryce Pappenbrook in, and I, I just. I just got into a new show and I'm fighting him again. <laughs> He's the hero again and I'm the bad guy and we fight again. So it's like I spent eight hours fighting Bryce one day and rec like <laughs> while recording. Um, but I can't I can't give specifics out. Otherwise, I'm mm. sure I'll be fired. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, so how did you get into like voice acting and why why did you pursue that? career rather than you know anything else um i i never actually pursued voice acting in itself i i actually i moved to la to be just an actor right so i i took um like eight years of theater um and then after that i transitioned into screen acting so i was doing on-screen commercial work I, I i did commercials for like garmin gps discovery channel um all that stuff i um i did primarily screen acting and then uh, out of the blue, I auditioned for uh, this podcast show that a dubbing studio was doing. And after I finished with that, they were like, hey, we, you know, we, we uh, want to hang out a little bit more. You, you want to come do a show with us? And I'm like, oh, cool. Uh, what does that involve? They're like, oh, you just go into a booth, uh, you read the lines, we record them, and everything's great. And we pay you. I'm like, that's fantastic. <laughs> So, uh, my, my very first show I ever did without knowing anything about VO was The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. And uh, ever since then, they just start calling me back for more stuff and more stuff and more stuff. And at some point, um, I started taking classes for it because I was like, okay, well, you know, might as well get serious about this. I took classes, got my demos made, um, and here I am almost a decade later, <laughs> still doing it. Uh, so yeah, that's how I got into voiceover, completely on, on accident. <laughs> So, <clears throat> as you know, like the uh, anime culture and the scene and mm -hmm. the gaming scene is is just started to just come out recently. Yeah. Um, so, for people who are new to the scene, like, what would you recommend as an anime for them to really start to get into? Oh man, there's so many. Um, 
it, if you're if someone is just starting to get into anime for the very first time, I actually recommend they go back and watch some of the older stuff, um, just to get a feel of like how it's built up over the years. Like, definitely watch stuff like Cowboy Bebop. You know, definitely catch like Trigun. Definitely catch um, Slayers. You know, all any any of the old like fantastic stuff. Um, and and nowadays, uh, again, Fate is a great series to to watch. Um, I would get a subscription to Crunchyroll. They always have the newest shows on there, and they all, and they have a bunch of old good stuff too. Um, let's see, uh, anime wise, anime wise, anime wise. Dorarara is very popular right now. Um, you should catch that. And uh, like I said, Kill a Kill. Um, all the good Aniplex shows and Funimation shows. If they haven't seen Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> you know what have you been doing with your life? And you should go watch Dragon Ball Z. Uh, it's funny because I have a friend who she just got into anime yeah. and she's never seen Dragon Ball. She's Ball. never seen Dragon no, Ball. No, that's has... crazy. Yeah, it's, it's so rare to find even like regular folks who haven't seen anything of Dragon Ball. You know, even people who aren't anime fans have seen a little Dragon Ball probably on TV. So wow, that's wild, man. Yeah, she's never heard of. Well, she's never seen. She actually didn't know there was Dragon Ball before Dragon Ball Z. Oh, and okay, she was I got gotcha. you. Like, I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. Never gotten. Into That's fair. It. A lot of a lot of Westerners haven't actually seen the original Dragon Ball before DBZ. You know, but would you in their childhood. would you recommend Dragon Ball Z to newcomers? It just seems like it's such a prolonged anime. Where it is a prolonged era anime. If if they don't think they have the attention span to sit through it, there's uh, the Dragon Ball Kai, uh, the condensed version of DBZ, which I can recommend to them. It cuts out a lot of the filler, a lot of the fluff. And um, and it looks better. <laughs> it looks a little newer. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, absolutely. But definitely check out some Dragon Ball. I mean, that's so good. So what's your favorite anime that you love watching, and something that you could keep watching, keep watching though, forever? Yeah. Uh, I love Slayers. Um, the Slayers, Slayers Next, Slayers Try, all the the whole package. Um, that was the first anime I had ever seen. Like, oh, oh th wait, I, that's actually not true. The, the first anime I saw was Dragon Ball, <laughs> right? But, like, Slayers was the first anime I set out to find that was anime. You know what I mean? Like, I saw Dragon Ball, I was like, okay, this is really cool. I want to see other stuff like it, and move from that to, directly to Slayers. This was back when we had VHS tapes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was unwinding them with, like, my fingers and stuff. But, uh, yeah, Slayers. De specifically, Slayers Next was my favorite season in the series. So that, so basically, that propelled you to like get into more anime. Yeah, yeah. From Slayers, I was like, okay, I got, I have to consume as much as possible. So I went from Slayers to like Cowboy Bebop to Trigun to, oh my God, um, a whole bunch of stuff. The 2006 Fate series, um, uh, everything I can get a hold of, uh, I watched, and uh, I still watch anime today. To this day, I just don't have enough time. To catch up on everything, which makes me sad. So, as we spoke before, you're a big gamer. Oh yes. Um, so, what is your? This is gonna probably create like a flame war. What's your favorite console? My fa oh, don't do it! <laughs> don't do it! Um, for <laughs> years and years and years ago, it was the PlayStation Two. But nowadays, I I'm almost ashamed to say I'm almost. Uh, I want to say 80% PC Master Race. <laughs> just because most of the games I play now are just on my PC and Steam is so wonderful and, you know, with my limited time I, I can I can play a Steam game really quick and then go about my business. Um, I, I also, uh, Final Fantasy XIV and World of Warcraft are on, you know, PC, so I don't have much of a choice. <laughs> what's, your, what's your favorite game? My favorite game? Um, just for the amount of solid man hours and just uh, minutes of my life invested, uh, it, it would very much appear to be World of Warcraft because I was one of those guys who was like uh, day one beta, you know, I was in it. I I've been playing it for 10 years. I've been playing World of Warcraft for 10 years and that sounds ridiculous to say. I haven't done anything for 10 years. I haven't even <laughs> been a voice actor for 10 years. Um, so just with time invested, World of Warcraft, and I very much enjoyed still. It's 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 fantastic, but holy crap! Just thinking back about 
just the hours I've given that game is is, is crazy. Are you into the lore? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's one of my um, one of my bucket list VO uh, ambitions is to be in a Warcraft uh, title game. You know, either uh, be a part of World of Warcraft somehow or whatever they release next in their series. Um, yeah, absolutely. Are you excited that they're making a live adaptation of World of Warcraft? I'm excited and like tense about it. Like I really, really want it to be amazing, right? But now I'm just afraid I'm overhyping myself. Like what if what if I'm like what if I go into the theaters like this is gonna be the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life? And then it's not. They'll destroy me. Um, so I'm trying to keep a cool head about it and be like, all right, it's gonna be I'm gonna go in thinking it's gonna be okay. And that way uh, there's no way I'll be crushed. <laughs> So, how do you feel that, like, you know, New York Comic Con has basically consumed, like, the anime conventions within the Tri-State area? Because I'm from New York. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, New... Uh, I'm sorry, um, did you mean... Which Comic Con did you mean? The... Uh, New York Comic Con? Oh, New York Comic Con. I've actually never been. You've never been to New York? I've never York been to New York Comic Con. I just went to the San Diego Comic Con for the very first time ever, and that was a sea of people I don't need. <laughs> To, to go again to experience. Um, I don't know. I, I My girlfriend really loves Comic-Con, but I I went there and it was just so many people and it was so hard to get into any of the panels that you really want to do. I just sort of went for the dealer's hall, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, and I can't kind of cope. Like, you've been. What, what do you think? Um, I like New York Comic-Con. Yeah. Um, this is a lot of people. Yeah. And this very... <clears throat> makes you claustrophobic really yeah it's no just, totally uh, absolutely like when you ask people it's like hey uh so when should i start lining up to get into this panel they're like yesterday and you're like what <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it's it's nice because um i do a lot of video mm -hmm. so it's like it's nice to see a lot of cool cosplay and um it's interesting you yeah know? it is interesting it's it's awesome to see the people who you know have passion and put so much work into their their outfits and stuff but man is it hard to get around <laughs> do you like seeing people actually cosplaying uh, the characters that you voice oh yeah uh, that's always a riot <laughs> I, um i i make it a point to at least find one or two people per con and be like can i take a picture with you being all like creepy it's like hey <laughs> <laughs> hey i voice this guy you gonna get a picture and they're always like jesus christ okay <laughs> <laughs> um yeah it's always really fun to see and people are and people are so good with their cosplays like the amount of time and and dedication they have to put into that stuff is amazing do you have you ever thought about cosplaying the characters that you voice act <laughs> uh, i've i've never i've never thought about cosplaying I, I don't think i'd be very good at it because i have um i i'm not patient enough for it i don't think like I feel like I would go and try to create the costume, and then like halfway through, I'd be like, "Yeah, it's good enough." <laughs> but you'd be so, you'd be so good because you you voice act that character, so you would be I in knew, character when you cosplay. That's I, I just I just I would be in character, but the costume would look like crap. <laughs> you could always have someone you know, you know make it for you. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Um, maybe one day we will see. We well, will see. I will look forward to it. <laughs> You're like, I'm keeping you at your word. <laughs> I have it recorded. <laughs> I've documented. But um, any, any, anything else you want to say before we wrap this up? Um, just uh, if, if people want to follow me on social media, you can... Uh, I'm, Let's wait for that. Oh my god. <laughs> the Elder Gods. <laughs> um, you can follow me on social media. I am at, uh, on Facebook. Uh, KG Tang uh, Voice Monkey. <laughs> is my is my uh, public page. You can follow me on Twitter. It's just KG Tang. I even have a Tumblr. I think you can you can follow me at KG Tang <laughs> on Tumblr. And uh, yeah, please, um, we'll hang out online. I'm very responsive to people when they message me. And yeah. Well, thank you for your time. Well, thank you, man. Thank you.